my Saggies this week in love. Oh my god. That does not belong there. Alright, this week in love for my Saggies. What's going on? Everything you need to know about me is going to be in the description, okay? So, let's get it. Sagittarius. This week in love. All right, you got judgment, you got six of swords, seven of pentacles, and the five of pentacles. I do feel like death card is in the reverse, so it's not over between you and whoever you're connecting to um, in this uh, read. I don't know why that's still over here. Mixing up decks over here. But um, I do feel like regardless to whatever is going on, you're coming out of a space of hurt, um, of pain, of loss, okay? Um, and I do feel like you're coming out of the space of where maybe you were cold, you were distant. Um, you are forgiving, or at least you're working through the path to forgive somebody for the shit that they've done. Um, and I do feel like everything that you everything that you've done with the seven of pentacles, you know, hasn't worked, even if it doesn't feel like it. You may feel like, man, we're not getting anywhere. I lost this person especially if you guys are already separated, but I don't feel like you've lost this person, Sag, okay? Let's see what this judgment card is. What is the judgment? Yeah, you had to make a decision. Man, it was karma. A lot of karma was between you and this person. You may not even really feel the same about this person anymore. You might are, are like, no, nah, I, I don't even feel the same. I'm not, you know, I'm not attracted to this person anymore. Whatever they did was fucked up, you know? But you are getting to the point where you're forgiving their actions. You're forgiving what's happened. You're coming to the space and you're going, you know what? I forgive. Um, I may never forget what they did, but I forgive the actions of the karmic bullshit. You know, um, this is six of swords. Yeah, see, I feel like you guys have a person. And again, you know, I've said this to a couple of other signs. I know when we have somebody that we're with and they are our life partner, they are our soulmate. That doesn't mean we're not going to have issues with them. It doesn't mean that they won't cheat. They won't step out. They'll, they'll do some shit. Okay. But it's hard to come back from that. And I feel like at the end of the day, you, you there's a part of you that still wants this. There's a part of you that still wants that marriage, that commitment. Um, but I feel like you don't know how to get it or don't know how to come back from the lost energy. And that might also be your person. I might be feeling them as well. I feel like at the end of the day, you had a lot of plans. You had a lot of plans for you and your person. But unfortunately, you also didn't realize that you and your person had a lot of lessons. Okay. Getting a lot of lessons when it comes to you and this person. So definitely very stagnant, not moving forward. Sometimes it feels like you'll never get to that space of love or family or connection. Um, but you got to get out of this, this hurtful place. You got to get out of this loss. Okay. Um, yes. You know, a lot of times we do lose soulmates and yeah, see, there's a lot of fears. You're, you're in this place of lack. You're in this place of fearing that you'll never have what you truly want. You'll never get to the next um, place in your life. You'll never get to 
the love, you know, you'll never get there, but spirit is telling you, you will, you just have to fix your energy and move forward. And as much as it fears you to, to move forward because of, I think some of you haven't got a, an apology. I think some of you have whatever happened. You never got the, I'm sorry for what I did to you. And so it is very hard, hard, um, and some of you had this kind of partner and you really felt that this person was it. You really were like, this is my person. We're going to make it. And so when you did it, it kind of crumbled all around you. And it's very hard to pick yourself back up from that. I don't feel it's over in love for you. I feel like you will have more love coming in. But I feel like this is more about you forgiving what has happened and seeing the person for they truly are. Sometimes we hold on to the hope of who we think we want them to be, and we lose the fact of who they truly are and who they show show us who they truly are in this life. And sometimes we hold on to the, to the essence of who they were in another life, in a past life. So very stagnant. Doesn't feel like this connection is moving forward right now, but I feel like it's not meant to. I feel like you guys are meant right now to be apart. There's a lot that I feel like you two need to understand and fix and and do while you're separated. I don't know if you and this person will come back together, Sag, um, because it just feels like there's a lot of shit in between this. Um, so I'm not sure if you and this person will ever come back. There was a lot of lessons. Hopefully you learned those lessons, you know, and you can allow yourself that whatever has happened, you allow yourself to move forward. OK, yeah, what I say acceptance is the key to inner peace at times we must accept things as they are there's no point trying to change and which is beyond your control so some of you have to accept that this was a karmic partner that this person cheated on you that this person fucked it up or maybe you did you know you have to come to terms with it you have to accept it um and that is the only way that you're going to be able to move forward it says if you could do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart not in your mind for the heart is the gateway to the soul. So, you know, again, like I'm saying, you, you have to be able to look at this in a different way. And I know it's rough. I know it's hard um, because you really wanted this with this person, but maybe they weren't your person. Maybe they weren't for you. Can you be okay with that? Playfulness, laughter, laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. For some of you, I feel like this is more of just you um, being playfulness, allowing yourself to to um, flirt with other people, allow yourself to move forward because a lot of you are stuck in what you've lost or what you think you've lost, but you haven't really lost anything. You just need to put yourself out there and allow yourself to get back out there. Okay, Sag, um, that's what I got for you guys. As always, sending you so much love, so much light. Until next time, bye. I do anything you want me to. Cause I